What is up guys, lots of Legos here to show you some new awesome stuff that I recently got. I want to talk about some new customs and just do a lot of cool stuff in this vlog. This is my first time ever doing a vlog, so it's pretty exciting for me. But let me move this out of the way. I've got to get my piece out that I ordered here. Um, got a package in from Lego the other day, that's always fun. Um, basically I got, uh, let me find all the pieces that I got. You got to take his... That take this. Um, yeah, so basically, I ordered four pieces from the Back to the Future set. One being the flux capacitor. This is a right. Um, not right. Anyways, um, right here it says Shield Eyes from Light, and Shield is spelt right. But this is my ordered version. When I bought the set, and a lot of other people had the same problem, it was spelt. Um, uh, I can't even read that, it's so small. S-H-E-I-L-D, and that's not how you spell shield. So this one is spelled right, this one isn't. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using this one in the DeLorean once I put it back together. Then this one is going to be a cool collector piece just to kind of keep around. So yeah, I ordered another uh, California Out of Time license plate. As you see, that comes on the back of the DeLorean right, right there. Um, so... I ordered that because on the back of the Man of Steel car right here, there's a two studs right right here. And they just seem kind of blank without a license plate. And I really like that one, so California out of time on the car. So that's pretty cool. Then I ordered a pair of, another pair of Marty's legs for a figure I'm working on. You'll get a better look at it in a minute. Um, and then I ordered another uh, Marty head for a sick fig that I'm working on. No, I don't like my. I don't look like Michael J. Fox, but neither does this head. If you think about it, kind of does without the hair. They could have chosen a better hair piece, but anyways, I'm just blabbering. But anyways, that's what I got from Lego. Now, as of figures, um, I got a bunch of figures to show you guys. It's it's really cool. First one I want to show you is a new Rick that I'm working on. Um. He had, I recently got a minifig cat order in, and I got some really nice accessories from them. So I basically got one uh, leg panel, as they call it, but it's really a gun holster. And I just put in um, his silver python into the gun holster right there, which looks nice. And then he's just got his fur coat with his white undershirt, you know, black line details and everything. And then he has a gunmetal um, M1911. And so does Joe. He has a gunmetal 1911. But what I want to do is I want to get some of the version 2 M1911s that Brick, Ar Brick Arms recently released. Um, it's uh, They're pretty cool, but I also I don't want to just get the standard ones. I want to get these uh, over-molded ones, which I'm just demonstrating with this. They look a lot better than these. But it basically has the grip um, printed in brown, so I like that. So I want to get some of those. So that's my new Rick. Also, I gotta get a new face other than the Indiana Jones one, cause um he doesn't. Rick is this more. He's more of a badass now. You know, like in the second half of season four, he's just been like really like no BS kind of guy. So the smiling Indiana Jones face does not work for him. Also, I'm working on some new hair, which I'll actually just give you a look at. I'll just put it on the head so you can get an example. I still gotta paint it and stuff. It's basically the same hair piece, but with the uh, little um, peak, I think is what Brooklink calls it. Like the little point or whatever, uh, whatever it's called. That is shaved off, and it looks nice. So, yeah. Rick Grimes. Next figure I want to show you is my new Daryl. Um, this Daryl is actually in his uh, biker vest. It looks a lot better than this previous version. Um, so basically, this one's a lot better, but what I really like about this is I did this technique. I painted the undershirt and the vest in two different blacks. Now, you may not be able to tell, but basically the undershirt is painted in a glossy Lego black, and the vest is painted in a matte black. So you can see that it's it's two different shades of black, which I really like. And then he's got all of his different lines here that I have to paint over here. And then get some arms. He's going to have the same crossbow. i got to grab my crossbow. I remember I dropped it on the ground earlier. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
Dr. Emmett Brown is holding it, but yeah. His same mini fit cat crossbow. So yeah, that is uh, Daryl. Next figure up, let me move. I'll just put the figures that I've shown here. Um, put you by the door. Alright. Uh, next figure is Joe. Joe is really cool. I already talked about the M1911 with Rick, so I'm not going to talk about that again, but... Basically, same thing, want to get another one. This is just a prototype, kind of like a, um, what do they call that? Like, in movies, when they when they have a new character and they're trying to do a costume for him, and they draw concept art, this is basically what this figure is. It's a concept. It's not the final product. I don't even know if I'm going to use this torso or head or uh, anything. I'm going to probably use the rest. I like the color of the legs. I like the black arms, and I like the uh, dark bluish gray hair from the Ninjago minifigures, but other than that, it's basically the torso that's a prototype design. This one looks nice, but I don't, I, I, I don't like the flowers and stuff, so I'm just like experimenting with different colors and different, all that kind of stuff. So, it, you know, being a customizer, is it's a long process to try to determine like how to do certain things. Like, with Daryl's vest, I was trying to figure that out for a long time, like, how... Because his un everyone, like, paints his undershirt in dark gray because they don't know what else to do. And I, don't, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to paint it in the black that it really was. But I couldn't just, like, have a line cut off there but still have it the same black color. So that is basically what I did. I just figured it out, and it worked. So, yeah. Next up, we have Riot Gear Glenn. Now, this is also a Minificat accessory. Um, it's a Riot Gear vest and Riot Gear helmet. And a Brick Arms um, M16. Yeah. And basically, uh, Minificat informed me that the Riot Visor, Riot Gear Visor, for the um, helmet would be out soon. But I can't wait forever. So, I'm going to have to find a substitute for his helmet. But I like the vest and... I'll probably find a different um, gun from Brick Arms. I think I want to get their uh, M10, I believe it is. So yeah, that's right, Gear Glenn so far. Uh, who else? Here, right here. This is Eugene. Let me get his hair. This hair is going to be modified and painted a different color. Um, this is Eugene right now. He's got a nice custom painted face and a modified Han Solo torso because it's got the two pockets like he has. And then some nice uh, rolled up sleeves that I painted on there. So that's just a quick glance at Eugene, but he'll be done shortly and he'll look really good when he's done. Um, let me get Daryl's crossbow. It comes apart pretty easily, so I gotta snap that back to place. But Daryl's crossbow, there we go. Uh, next figure is T-Dog. Uh, I basically took some brown arms and painted the white sleeves on there and painted the little neck. And then he's got a completely custom painted face, which you'll get a better view of when I post him to Flickr. Then he's got a, a mini fig cat gun that it was a freebie when I ordered from mini fig cat. And it was in like a metallic olive green color, so I painted that black and gave that to him. Then he's got his beret that he had in, um, like when he was first introduced in season one. But when he wears it, it was backwards, but here's the weird part about the Lego beret. It's not, like, a solid thing. It's, it's like, it's shaped weird, so I couldn't really do anything. Again, it goes back to that thing, like, finding a solution to your problems. I could have just said, oh, I'm not going to use the beret, but I didn't want to do that, so I just put it to the side and painted the little design that he had, the little zigzags, and out came T-Dog, so that sounded weird, but... Yeah, um, anyways, uh, next up we have Beth. Beth is coming out a lot better than my previous version. Um, this one is just more, a lot more accurate, just a lot better paint job. You know, my last Beth, I painted her torso in like 20 minutes. I just wanted to get a Beth done. I didn't even care. So this one I'm really taking my time with, and I'm really making it look good. So that's Beth. Um... Next figure up is one that I'm um haven't like wanted to show, but now I'm finally showing it. This is Rosita Espinosa. So let me put her together here. Here we go. There, that is Rosita. 
she has an area like curved torso which is really nice uh, she also has the uh, Native American minifigure from series one the braids and then it's cut down and modified to m m um, mold up with the hat so I'm gonna do the back and everything but if you, you can just take the hair off if you want uh, I'm gonna get her a different face and I'm going to um, put some holsters on let me see if I can get find my holsters here they are. I'm going to take, I took some uh, mini the cat leg panels and cut these down and I'm going to glue them right there. They're in a dark green color so they blend in pretty easily. I'm going to put her uh, guns in there. So that'll look pretty nice. So um, that's all in terms of figures I've been working on. Um, they're, they're pretty cool. They'll be done eventually. Um, so yeah. A couple, uh, it was a long time ago actually, it wasn't that long, but like two or three weeks ago, I went to Target and found these little um, mini packs for Walking Dead. I just grabbed one, it's basically, it's it's really funny. Oh, uh, like, I got Carl, it's like a mystery pack, it's like the minifigure series, but it comes with three, and they're not like Legos, so, um, you basically got Carl, and he looks really weird, because he has like blush and everything, like, I don't know if you can see that, but he's got blush. Then you get this zombie who's who's pretty okay. He's not bad. Then you get this weird clear zombie. Like what what the heck? But they're they're pretty cool to have on display, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Um so yeah, that's that. I also got this a while ago. I got um the DeLorean, as you can see in the background, a while ago. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. It it falls apart really easily. That would be my only complaint with this set, is that it it is a fragile set. But that's okay, I guess. I mean, which one of these was the right flux capacitor? This one was the wrong one, so this one. The right one, there we go. So this is the one I ordered with the right spelling on it. So this one I'm going to keep just, you know, around because it's still valuable, I guess, because it's spelled wrong. So, yeah. Uh, put the doors back on. My only, I actually have one more complaint. The first one being that it's so fragile. Second one being that you can only fit one minifigure in. You can either fit, um, Doc, Doc Brown. What did this come off of? I know it's something from this set, I can just tell. Um. Hmm, I don't know. Weird. I'll have to look over that again. But, um... Either Doc Brown or um, Marty. So, yeah, that's kind of. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what this piece went to because it, it. I don't just have this piece lying around. It had to go to something. Hmm. I guess I can't figure it out at the moment. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the set. So, that is something that I got recently. Ow. Anyways, so we'll put this to the side. Actually, I'll just keep it in the background. Um. And then, the same day that I got that, I got this uh, Chewbacca keychain. So, it's pretty cool. Chewbacca. Um, yesterday at Target, let me grab it here, I got this really cool shirt for the uh, premiere of Spider-Man. Let me get this crap out of the way. Right, I got this really cool shirt. Let me see if I can lie it out here. It's like a, it's a Venom shirt, I think, and it's like, it's just, it's really cool. It's like a, you know, grayish kind of shirt with the Venom symbol on it. So that's, it's a really cool shirt. So I'm going to wear that to the premiere of uh, Spider-Man on, I'm going to go see it on Sunday. So it's not really the premiere, but I'm going to still go see it within the first five days that it comes out. So I guess it counts. Um, also, something I want to talk about in this vlog the hunt for Simpson minifigures begins. Yesterday was the first place I checked. I just went to Target asking. And the woman I asked was on it, too. I was like, do you guys sell Lego minifigures? And she's like, no. You mean the Simpsons ones? I was like, yeah. And she's like, no. I'm like, oh. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay. But um, I got this magazine uh, a couple days ago talking about the uh, Simpsons special Lego episode, which I'm psyched for. I mean, I love The Simpsons, and I love Legos, so the fact that they're becoming um, a Lego episode, I guess, is just really cool. 
And so far, here it is. What I've gathered from it is that, here in this picture, it might explain. Um, right here, the real Simpsons have this Lego Springfield, and the Lego Springfield is alive. Like, they keep, and the two worlds collide. That's what I've gathered from it, like you see here. One thing that I don't like is that they didn't use the molded heads that Lego produced. These are actual Lego heads, but with just weirder parts on them, like like this hair piece and this hair piece, that hair piece, and this bald head piece, I guess. It'd be cool if we got a bald head piece, though. That, that wouldn't be bad. I would like one of those, but, um, yeah. So I guess they're okay. They kind of look weird with, like, their noses and stuff. But you see all this here. And everything, so it's pretty cool. I guess that's it. Yeah, it's funny when they put something so big on the cover, and there's like two pages of it in the magazine, and then the rest of it is like ads and stuff. I just think that's funny. But anyways, the hunt begins for Simpson minifigures, so that's a big part of this video too. So we'll put that in the background. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> all right. Sorry guys, it's not gonna stand up. All right, there we go. Yeah, so that's a big part of this episode. Episode. Vlog. Um, <laughs> and then... Yeah, it's pretty cool. One thing I wanted to point out is, even though I don't have the Simpson minifigures and I know this, people are thinking, like, all the parts that they have besides the heads are new parts. And I'm gonna say none of them are, except Itchy's tail. Or, is it? No. Scratchy. No. Yeah, Scratchy's tail. I don't know the difference. I don't know which one is which, but... Like, everyone thought Chief's Wiggum piece was new. No, it came on the British Guard in Series 11, so that. Um, everyone thought the saxophone for Lisa was new. No, it came on the saxophone player in Series 11 as well. Everyone thought the uh, the squishy that Apu had was new. I have that, but I don't know where it is. Um, that came on Larry the Barista from Series um. I guess Series 12, but they don't call it Series 12. It's just the Lego Movie minifigure series. But, um, Larry the Barista had that piece, so none of the pieces are new except for Itchy or Scratchy, whatever, whichever they are, it, his tail, and the, all the new head molds. But other than that, they're just the same things. So, yeah. Um, so I'm really excited. I was like, I really wanted to collect the whole Series 12. I'm just going to call them Series 12. Screw it. I wanted to collect all of the movie mi Lego movie minifigures, but I just couldn't like get them all so it was a bummer but I don't want that to happen with those guys so I'm gonna collect all of those and I'm gonna get them and it's gonna be great so uh yeah this has been a very very long vlog I apologize for that if you stuck all the way through I'd just like to thank you I'd like to say if you enjoyed this vlog check out my other videos even though they're really old and not my best and I'm gonna really try to do better because I've advanced a lot since then but check out my Flickr, link will be in the description below, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.